Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Reading Lamb, and today I have a book review on The Silver Lines Playbook by Matthew Quick. Um, it's actually, I read this a few weeks ago, and it's actually funny I'm filming it today because I just saw the movie last night. By the time you see this, it's probably been a few weeks since I've seen the film, because I'm filming this quite in advance, but I really enjoyed this film. I had seen the Oscars where Jennifer Lawrence won for Best Actress, and obviously, I, like, I saw clips from the movie, but obviously I couldn't, you know, really, like, well, any time at the Oscars really I can't be like, oh, that person deserved it because a lot of the time I haven't seen the films. But I can see how she got it and she was really good in this movie. Um, but enough about the movie and more about the book. So this book is basically about a man named Pat. And Pat is on a mission. I'm trying to look at the back because I don't want to spoil this. But Pat is on a mission and he is basically trying to correct himself in an attempt to get back with his estranged wife, Nikki. Um... And he has spent time in a mental health facility. And now that Pat's home, everything kind of feels off. Um, and no one will talk to both. Nikki, um, the, this book has a lot to do with football too. Um, so the Philadelphia Eagles, which is his family's team, keeps losing. He's being pursued by Tiffany. And his new therapist seems to recommend adultery as a form of therapy. And he's being haunted by um, Kenny G. So there's a lot going on. It has to do with Pat's mental health and him trying to put back his life after he's been away for a while um, at a mental facility. So plot, if I'm looking down or by the way, this will be spoiler free enough. I'm looking down or over. I'm looking at my notebook where it contains a score and I'll be scoring the book in five categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall entry again very soon. Five out of five, not so soon, one out of five. So plot, I give a 4.5 out of five. Now this book had a little bit, a few slow parts, which kind of bumped down the score a bit. But besides that, this book, like when it had a few slow parts, it still moved pretty fast though. I really love the short chapters. Um, they were just like little, like sometimes they're like little vignettes, big vignettes, but they continued on. So I don't think that really goes for the theme, but it just went super fast. Like I read 30 pages in like 15 minutes. Like I was just blowing through this book very fast. I really liked how the characters progressed and how the story progressed. It kept interesting. They had a little bit of a mystery thrown in because Pat's trying to piece together his life and we don't really know what happened all the way and that's slowly getting revealed to us as we move through the novel and i really like that because it keeps you interested um it makes something to look forward to and it adds a little bit of a mystery element so really enjoyed that aspect for characters i gave a 4.5 out of 5. i really enjoyed the characters i really enjoyed the character pat he was very interesting and i really liked how throughout the book like people would kind of you know they do like people would kind of say like oh Tiffany, who's the other main character, her health problems are worse than yours, like that. And like, he's kind of points out the difference. He's like, we both have mental health problems. Are so you saying like, I'm different? And like, he kind of bring attention to the, like, bring to light the attention that mental health gets and the, rep not the rapport, but the stigma around mental health and that certain people are worse off than others when everybody's dealing with mental health. And I really liked how he kind of called that out and called that to attention. And he was very self-aware of himself, but he could obviously lose himself because he is dealing with um, his inner demons, but he was still able to recognize and he was trying to become a better person, which I found very interesting and going through all these steps that he thought would correct everything in his life. And I just really enjoyed his journey throughout. Um, the other side characters, I didn't get too much of a feel on um that's why I gave it a 4.5 like I couldn't connect too much but I really liked his relationship with his brother and I liked his relationship with his therapist Cliff and that was one of my favorite I think that's one of my favorite book friendships I read about in a while I really enjoyed that I enjoyed his relationship with Tiffany um I really liked that character as well but she's not as present in the book as she is in the film um and yeah that might just be because you know a film works better the film was very different from the book um, it had some very similar aspects, but it was very different. But I still think it was a good adaptation. I don't think it was bad at all. Um, cover, I give a 4 out of 5. So I have the movie cover, obviously, which has Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence on it. But I really love the yellow with the black lettering. He's done Matthew Quick's books. I have another one that's just like this with the yellow spine. It looks very striking. And I like how they kept the original kind of cover in the middle. And they have all the, like the football plays. Um, and then I like how it's like a black and white silhouette with the yellow. I just find it very striking and I really enjoy it. Um, so suspense, I give a five out of five because this one was, it did have some slow parts, but I wasn't going to dock it for that. Um, yeah, so I gave it a five out of five. Like it just kept moving, moving, moving. And I was very enraptured with it. And yeah, I just really love the suspense of wanting to know everything, wanting to know how Pat's life was going to turn around everything. Well, not turn around, but you know, like how he's going to piece it back together. 
And overall, I give the book a 5 5. Not only was it a fast read, but it was also a very interesting read. It had some light moments, some heavy moments, and it was all around a feel good book. I definitely recommend you read The Silver Lines Playbook if you haven't. I know a lot of people have read it because of the film, but I'm late on the bandwagon. And yeah, so that's been my book review. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.